Hi guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna test new Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette from the Precious Stone Obsession collection. And to be honest, I'm not a Huda Beauty fan, mainly because I'm not Huda Beauty girl. I'm more like let's other KFC and watch Netflix girl. So this should be interesting. Precious Stone Obsession Collection U5 U5 oh, Stupid ass In the Precious Stone Obsession Collection you'll find 5 palettes Each of them containing 9 eyeshadows I got the palette called Sapphire Obsession Rest of them look like this I was thinking about getting Amethyst palette because it contains super nice pinks and purples But I have quite a lot of those so I went with the sapphire one. It has gorgeous blues, navies, emerald shades, silver and the lemon one. And I thought I don't have anything like this in my collection so why not let's give it a try. If it's gonna work fine maybe I'll be a Huda Beauty fan and then I'll go and grab other palettes or maybe I'll just throw it in the garbage. Before we start with the makeup, let's see what Huda Beauty has to say about those palettes. Just like the OG Obsession palettes, each palette has 9 super pigmented, creamy and ultra blendable shades. Well, we'll see about that in a second. That give maximal color payoff, matte, shimmer and duochrome shadows work together in perfect harmony or as a standalone shadow. Okay, we will see, we will see. And the description for my Sapphire Obsession palette is If you love creating bold new looks, then feast your eyes on our Sapphire palette with 5 glistening duochrome shades and 4 battery mattes. I'm obsessed with a vivid turquoise shade and electric blue is just the coolest pop of color if you want to make a statement. Well. Okay, enough of the chit chat, let's put the palette into work. First I'm gonna do just few swatches because I won't be able to use all the 9 shades on my face. So let's start with this dark duochrome metallic in the middle. And let's see how it swatch. Mm, not that impressed to be honest. Maybe I should add another layer. Let's maybe go for this navy one. On the finger it looks good and see how it swatches. Again, not impressed. So, Huda Beauty, come on girl. Maybe you should swatch matte. Let's go for this dark navy. Again, on the finger, super nice. Like, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. To be honest, I'm not that impressed with the swatches, but sometimes shadows don't swatch well on the finger and look gorgeous on the eyes. But nevertheless, I'm gonna swatch all of the nine shades. So here are the swatches like I would normally do them with any other palette, but here, as you can see, there is barely any color payoff and it's so disappointing. And just to show you guys, you can make super pigmented swatches with this palette as well, but you have to put at least 3 or 4 layers of the shadow, so who has time for this? For sure not me. I already did my base, I'm wearing new Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Foundation. I did a word test, so I will link it down below, and I have new Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. It's my favorite. Mm. I don't know, my favorite? One of my favorite? Yes, it is my favorite. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's talk about Fenty Beauty in another video. I'm promising now I'm gonna start because I feel like this video lasts for an hour or more and we didn't put any makeup on. So as my transitional shade, I'm gonna go for this cute lemon one. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stressed. 
Okay, it's like it's barely there. I don't know if you can see that, but to be honest, I, I can't see that. So no, let's go as a traditional shade for this turquoise one. Hope it's gonna be better. Oh yes, this is so much prettier. Okay, this shade it's so much better. Like it gives you like a nice tint. Not too much, not too crazy. And my phone is buzzing. Let's do the other eye. I think this shade will be super nice with just a little bit of yellow as a, like a summer makeup. Uh, I know the summer is over, but maybe you are going on vacation or whatever. For the main color, I'm gonna use this electric blue. Let me just grab a brush. And because it's a metallic shade, it's gonna work better with the wet brush. So I'm gonna use my Flawless Mist and Fix Barium one and just wet my brush a little bit. And let's pray to all the makeup gods this shade will work. Ooh, hello there, color. Yes, with the wet brush, it works so nice. Oh my days. Winna winna chicken dinner. It's. It's just pretty, it's just pretty, the pigment is there, the shine is there, the one thing isn't there, fall out! So good job Huda Beauty, we love good metallic shade without any fallout. But it's so pretty guys. Okay, I need to be sure if this shade works because of the formula or because of the wet brush, so on the other eye I'm gonna apply this with my finger. So, bear with me. Okay. Well, it's still nice. But with the wet brush, we have more of the color payoff. So, again, brush, fixing spray, damp, damp. And now, we're gonna go for this navy guy. And as you remember, it didn't swatch well. So I hope it will work on the eye and I'm gonna dab this in the outer corner. This one it's a little bit more challenging. So the pigment is there, the colors are pretty but the one thing that annoys me you have to put some work to make it work. Okay so outer corners are done let's do inner corners so i'm gonna go with the obvious choice with this dark silver one and again i'm gonna wet my brush because we already know this palette needs a flat wet brush just dab 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 and on the eye okay this shade isn't that much pigmented as i would like to be and the fallout is there so it's not gonna be my favorite like, I'm not a fan. Maybe, maybe we'll put a little bit of the lemon one on top of it. And let's see how it works. Oh yeah, this is a good decision. We have shine and we have color pop at the same time. And now I'm gonna go to the fluffy brush and I'm gonna get this metallic turquoise shade and I'm gonna blend all the shades together in the crease and for the lower lashes what we should do let's go with this one and this one and see how it works first the metallic emerald shade basically all over the lower lash line and in on the corner I'm gonna use 
this dark navy from the middle of the palette just to make like a nice cut eye look still using flat brush remember that because with this palette you just have to use flat wet brush at least for the metallic shades and let's grab dry fluffy brush and mix a little bit of this turquoise one and electric blue just to blend out the lower lash line so the look is almost done I'm gonna go with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I think because it's Huda Beauty we have to apply lashes I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Vape Lashes, my favorite ones. I don't have any Huda Beauty Lashes. I'm just gonna apply those off camera and be right back. Lashes are on and let's go to the final thoughts. Well, I like the look. I like the colors. I was a little bit afraid of the blues, but I think they work very nice. And you can mix all the shadows and they will work nice together. The only thing... I don't like about this palette is that amount of work that you have to put to make it work like today of, I'm filming so I had time to go with 10,000 brushes make them all wet put 10 layers of eyeshadows and whole shebang I get it like hmm. but on everyday use like no who has time for it? Although I would love to wear those colors every day because they are so pretty. So I guess my final thought is if you are a makeup junkie and if you have time to put your makeup for an hour, go for this palette. You're gonna love the colors. But if you want something easy, breezy, look for something different. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and you like this look. Please click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, show me some love, show me some support and see you on the next one. Bye!